So um, I've got an object um, here um, from Sasha, and um, I don't expect you to know what this um, what this object is, um, but um, I wondered whether or not you could describe it. Um. So it looks looks like a pine cone of some kind. It looks like a pine cone of some kind. Um, it's really heavy, and it looks kind of. That kind of burnt. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Right. So it's, it, it, it's definitely a plant's origin. Yeah. yeah so, so it's a plant. Yeah. Right. So um, uh, and you've uh, mentioned that it's a, um, that, that it looks a bit like a plant. Uh, looks a bit like a plant. Kind of. um, how do you think it was attached to the plant? Um. That's <laughs> um, I'm not. It's quite woody, so I imagine just through like the. Right, so which end do you think was attached to the plant? Um, that end? Right, why? Because you can see um, the. Um, you can kind of, you can see part of the wood inside, and also it looks like it's been broken off here. Right. Whereas that end is a lot more sort of flush. Right, absolutely. So, um, what part of the plant do you think that is? Um, that entire structure. Reproductive part? So it carries the seeds? Right, carries the seeds. Excellent. So uh, where do you think the seeds are going to be carried in this part? Inside, so maybe inside, inside these? The, right. Um, holes? Right, so it, it's in, inside, those, it, it, inside those holes, absolutely. So, if I give you a bit more information about this now. So this is a plant that's found in Western Australia, um, and it's a, it's, it's, it's a reasonable sized shrub, and it occurs in um, areas that are prone to fire. As you've already noticed, um, it's, um, it's, it's slightly burnt. So, and um, this plant um, produces, or the fruits open up, and those things are fruits, in response to fire. Or um, specifically in response to back to smoke. So, what from a, a from a from the plant's point of view, plant's point of view, um, the um, what is the advantage of um, dispersing your seeds essentially after fire? Um, I suppose when uh, it's 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 Advantageous to um, the plants at the seeding stage. Uh, 
by having a fire go through. Um. Is the what, what do you think is the greatest cause of mortality in most seedling populations? Um, so, does it remove predators or herbivores? It certainly can remove herbivores. What about another important source of um, and disease? And disease, absolutely. Yeah. So, pathogens are. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so, you sterilize the, yeah. you sterilize the area, absolutely. Okay. Um, great. Brilliant. Great. <coughs> should point out, by the way, that if anyone was scared by that, often the first few questions are the put you at ease questions. So <laughs> really, I'm going straight into that. Um, okay, I have uh, some data. Uh, can you, so Natasha, can you please look at this and describe what is going on here? Um, so it's a positive correlation. Um, with data points mainly clustered around the values. Um, that one at the top might be an outlier. And yeah. Okay, very good. Uh, so you're saying it's a positive correlation. What does that mean? Um, it means as one, um, as the independent variable increases, the values of the and the variable also increase. Okay, so um, very good. Can you tell me, can you define which is which in, in, in this case? So, uh, in this case, uh, I would assume that the x-axis was the independent variable, so it's going to be varied, and then the y-axis is the dependent variable, um, which is going to be the result. Right, okay. Uh, so you're saying there's a positive correlation. How about if I tell you these are real data, um, but this is um, sorry, this is genuine data, but this is the correlation between the number of stalks and the, the number of human babies. <laughs> Does this change your opinion? If so, how? Yes. Um, well, you have to you have to consider um, what's a correlation and what's cause and effect. So there may be a correlation between these things, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's that one thing is causing the other. Um, and so you can take in that case, it might not be the kind of Independent variable and independent variable, it will probably, this is kind of an observation, and there, are, there, can, be cor there can be correlations between completely random um, okay. like factors, which doesn't necessarily mean they're actually related. Okay, so very good. Can you give me an example, a different example to storks and babies, and maybe, yeah, firstly, let's have a, a different example of that. Um, so, um, the, um, no, um, I think we have one off the top of my head now. Um, okay, can't think of uh, another example. How would you, if I believe this, I genuinely think that yeah. stalks deliver babies, okay. and you don't, or you are neutral. Okay. How do you, how do we prove one of us correct or disprove the other? Um, well, there's a I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Because um, I think that because they're 
so I'm really there, there, I'm really it and that'd be very difficult to somehow create an experiment <coughs> where you make them related. Okay, but so that's very good out. and and actually you you've got it like that. That's what's required, whether or not it's easy or not. Okay, so how about if I give you one final figure? Or not? Restart your computer. <laughs> so if I give you this final figure, and these are the same data, so what has changed here? And, and to give you context, this is post-war Germany, and this is a uh, census of human babies and storks over time.